Now in Washington today, one man entered the arena, Chuck Hagel, the Purple Heart recipient from the Vietnam War, the former senator nominated to be Secretary of Defense. His former colleagues met him with a fusillade of critical questions today, and ABC's chief Washington correspondent Jonathan Carl tells us about the fiery day. He's a Vietnam veteran and a former Republican senator, but today Chuck Hagel found himself and his judgment under attack by a fellow Republican and Vietnam vet. Were you correct or incorrect when you said that the surge would be the most, most dangerous foreign policy blunder in this country since Vietnam? Were you correct or incorrect? Well, I'm not going to give you a a yes or no uh, answer well, on a lot of things. Well, let the record show that today. you refused to answer that question. Hegel eventually no, did answer, answer, standing by his words um, on the Iraq war and revealing something about the kind of defense secretary he hopes to be. I saw the consequences and the suffering and the horror of war. So I did question a surge. Is this going to be worth the sacrifice? We lost almost 1,200 dead Americans during that surge. Now, was it required? Was it necessary? Hegel would be the first defense secretary who saw combat as an enlisted soldier. As a poor kid from Nebraska, he and his brother Tom volunteered to serve in Vietnam. The brothers served in the same infantry unit in 1968, both getting wounded, each crediting the other with saving their lives. I don't see the lens of every, every world event and whether we should use American power through the lens of Vietnam, but is part of me. Hegel's service was praised. I admire your service to your country. But he was criticized for being soft on Iran and too tough on Israel, at one point criticizing what he called the Jewish lobby. Today, he took that comment back. I should have used another term, and I'm sorry, and I regret it. And Hegel seemed to get confused about Iran, which he called an elected, legitimate government, misstating President Obama's position on Iran's pursuit of nuclear weapons. Hegel's, Hegel uh, is likely to be confirmed, but even his supporters acknowledge he didn't have a particularly strong performance today, at one point acknowledging that he still needs to learn more about the Pentagon, telling the committee, quote, if confirmed, I intend to know a lot more than I do. Those were his exact words, Diane. It was a bruising day. Thanks so much, Jonathan Carl.